Grand Rising good people. I hope everybody's out there doing well. Thank you for stopping by Brown Bag Tarot, where we unpack bags together over here. So today, I've come to unpack a bag. I'm not going to title it because uh, in my meditations, Spirit said I am outside of time. Okay, Spirit says uh, different people are going to hear the message and they're going to hear it when they need to hear it. And if you put a time on it, it almost, they may feel that they missed their time or that, you know, the message is no good because it is expired or something to that nature. So my messages are going to be timeless. When you need to hear them, that's when you'll hear them. So with that disclaimer out the way, let's unpack a bag. All right. <clears throat> Father God, Spirit Team, thank you for being ever-present all-knowing and limitless. I ask that you provide a clear and accurate message right now so that the collective can make the best decision for their highest self moving forward. Please, thank you and amen. You're hiding. You're hiding. Confidence. Hmm. Is somebody out there struggling with confidence? I heard keep it. I'm going to keep it. I wasn't even on that part of the card reading, but that's what I heard. Keep it. All right. Somebody out there struggling with their confidence? Let's get into it. See what else is going on. That's one. Next two. That was a poor shuffle, but three. And then I like to go three times here. That's one. That's two. And that's three. All right. Universal light. Dreams, family, <clears throat> spiritual awakening. You know, the more I play or 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 yeah play with this deck the more I use it the more they kind of like speak to me and like tell me what they want me to say and this card here dreams it's been coming out a lot but it's throat chakra energy here okay and I feel like you know, it, it's talking about your dreams. It's either talking about dreams or or the talk that you're using is killing your dreams. Okay? And I feel like... I'm just getting a feeling of like... Need, needing support or not being supported or something to that effect. Let's Let's talk about it. Okay, this came out here. That's confidence. <clears throat> One, two. Three. Yeah, I, I feel like your confidence is maybe shaken because you're not being supported. I feel like the people that you thought would be there to support you ain't. And, and I feel like it's kind of like shaking your confidence. Don't, don't quote me on that just yet. But I just want to see what else is going to come up. There's three. Fulfillment. Belonging. Invisible. Yeah. Invisible. And it's right up under the family card. Invisible is right up under the family card. Mm -hmm. And it's like belonging. I wanted to belong to the family, but maybe you feel invisible. Mm -hmm. It's got your confidence shook. You know, I feel like that's what you long for. And, and maybe it could be like your soul tribe too. But I feel like currently the people... Or the family, however you define family, 
um, that you thought was going to support you is not. And it may be shaking your confidence a little bit. Okay? But <clears throat> we also have spiritual awakening. So I feel like that's kind of like the lesson that we should focus on. Like the spiritual awakening. Uh-huh. Because I feel like you have an idea here with the universal light. Something is going on where you feel like you've been inspired. <laughs> and you want um, people to hear you. You know, yeah, it's like it's, you want people to hear you out with this dreams card here. Uh-huh. And I feel like you think it's a fantastic idea, but they're like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're never giving you the support that you think should be coming to you. But, you know, this got your confidence. Like I said that already, but uh, we're going to get deeper into this. Believe in yourself, baby. Believe in yourself. That might be hard. It may be something that you haven't done. You know, it may be the beginning of you being your own cheerleader. But don't you think it is about time? I mean, I feel like Spirit has showed you that really the only sure thing out here is him and his word. That's the only thing you can definitely stand on. That's the only thing that is not going to change. Everything else, everybody else, they're iffy. They are iffy. Hmm. It's like trying to build a foundation on quicksand. It's like, who does that? Okay, no, you got to build your foundation on something firm, a rock. Okay, something that's not going anywhere. All right? Let's get into the tarot. Where are you at on this journey? Uh, what's the message for today's journey? Because it's a journey, you know? There's one, two, right there, three. Yeah. Page of Pentacles, I told you had an idea. <laughs> you had an idea. Listen to me. <laughs> I'm confident I got the answer. Mm -hmm. Let me tell y'all about it. It's going to be the fulfillment of dreams. You're like, mm, don't yourself. Ace of Cups, what I tell you. Ace of Cups. All right. Ace of Cups. What else we got? Queen of Cups. Judgment. Oh, man, it was going so good. Even in all of these, every row, it was going so good to the end. You know, it's like, yeah, you with your family, spiritual awakening. It's like, uh-oh, you about to get an epiphany. An aha moment, as Oprah would say. Oh, you about to find out what's really going on out here. Okay. Find out who really got your back and who don't. Okay. What is that? You wanted to. Yeah. Mother Earth. That's you getting grounded. Inner child. Yep. And yeah, you know, your inner child may have been hurt. That's all right. That's all right. That's why we have to mature spiritually. Okay. With this confidence here, it was hiding. Don't hide your confidence. You know, don't do it. Don't do it. Because. She's sitting here with this horse. You know, horses are like strong. They're pillars. They're mighty animals. They are, you know, what pulls the chariot, you know. So she's sitting, sitting here with a horse. So that means that she's not alone. Whether, you know, she, you know, her guides or, you know, your ancestors or whatever are around you. If you are like physically by yourself, you're not. Spirit is with you. But there may be one trusty companion you got out there you know <clears throat> or a friend to come to your rescue but i feel like this is more so about you your spiritual awakening okay and the fact that you know there you know forces are coming up against you to try to make you feel invisible it probably is a fantastic idea you know i heard grab that wine seven night wine <clears throat> it probably is a fantastic idea okay it probably is <sighs> But sometimes people can't see your vision. That vision is for you. It was given to you. All right? Not so they can run with it. So you can run with it. Hallelujah. So you can run with it. You see that horse? 
I told you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Spirit. So you can run with this idea. All right. And he gave you the vehicle to do so. All right. So this is your thing. This is your assignment. Okay. So you go boldly into where you have to go. Hallelujah. He going to direct you. You know what I'm saying? This is for your fulfillment, not theirs. Because everybody can't go with you. And that's what you're going to find out. Oh, it's time to cut some people off. Okay, the people that say they really support me don't. You know, and look at this family card. When I first pulled it out, I, I, I felt the energy of, oh, look at her. Girl, what is she doing? Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Girl, you know she didn't graduate college. You know he didn't do this. You know the baby mamas. And girl, you know them kids over there. And girl, you know she need to get her a man. And girl, you know he need to get rid of that heifer. You know how you know how family members be. Look at them. Look at their faces like, girl, look at them. Mm. Girl, what is they doing? Just hands. And these people are sitting around doing nothing. Let's say it again. These people are doing nothing. And I know that's the truth because as soon as I said it, I looked at the clock and it was 11, 11. That's the truth. These people cannot see your vision because they had none. All right. That's why he gave it to you, baby. That's why he gave it to the spiritual one. That's why he gave it to the chosen one of the family because he knew that you could see how it would bring about fulfillment. Okay. But let's be real. Families sometimes have demons assigned to them to make sure folks don't get out. But for the ones that do, they they those forces going to come up against you, okay, to try to keep you from it. Because they know what God got planned for you. They want to keep you from it. That's their job. So don't be mad, baby, okay? Don't let them shake your confidence. Don't hide your confidence and don't be pretentious with it either. Okay, rab in the spirit with the spirit with you. Spiritual awakening. I told you, your guides are with you. All right? So listen, move in silence. See, I like this card too. You see, because that, look what she's standing. It, it's a light. I'm feeling, Billy Jean is not my lover. Whew. Listen, I don't know how that's going to play in, but... Remember when he was walking on the ground and, you know, the ground was lighting up every time he took a step, you know, oh, glory to God. That's how it's going to be. Every time you take a step, some door going to open for you. You're going to meet some person. You're going to be able to network. You're going to be in the right place at the right time. Okay. Your, your, your steps are going to be ordered where you go is going to light up. And not only that, listen. Y'all can't really see it, but I'm going to tell you. She not really, it's a circle, okay? It's a circle, like a mirror, all right? She not out there in the middle of the mirror, okay? She on the outskirts of the mirror, like she don't even want to be seen. And that's another message. Move in silence. Man, move in silence and your way is going to be made. Your, your steps are going to be lit up for you as you go. Hallelujah, because this is a beautiful thing here with the page of pentacles, okay? And I was saying about threes. I'm looking at three o'clock, three o'clock, three weeks, three days, three months, three years, okay? Yes, ace of cups, look at this. You see that? You see them hands? Two hands. This is a two-handed gift. See them two hands, bam. Normally, hallelujah, and that's a lotus flower down there too, you know, a two-handed blessing from this thing that uh, God then put on your brain. All right, because that's what the lotus flower represents, the crown chakra opening. Hallelujah. This is crown chakra energy, babe. You see that? Bam. See, it's like, listen, right there. It's like that he gave you the idea and the crown chakra open. Come on with it, spirit. I like this. I like this. So listen, okay? Ace of cups, queen of cups. Man, listen, be the queen of your own throne. God gave this idea to you, all right? He gave it to you, not to them. This is your assignment. They're not going to support you. I'm sorry. But spirit got your back. And where your feet go, it's going to be lit up, all right? Move in silence. Don't let this discourage you. Don't hide your confidence, but don't be fake either, okay? 
They are trying to make you feel invisible. That's why they're trying to shake your confidence. But don't work, you know, forget that. Listen, right here, bam. Yes, this new opportunity, this this two-handed blessing, that means that this thing is going to be so big. God needed two hands, two of his hands, hallelujah, to give it to you, okay? He needed two of his hands to give it to you. And you know what? As you go about, you're going to meet two trusty people, two trusty people that's going to help you. Because you see that she the queen. She the queen of cups. You done took this ace of cups. To the Queen of Cups. Hallelujah. And as I was um, talking here, I heard the story, the parable of when God passed out the talents. One talent, two talent, three talents, or one talent, two talent, five talent. That, that's what I was getting. It's like, listen, this is your assignment. All right? And when you do good, okay, you're going to get double. Okay, do what you're supposed to do with this idea and you're going to get like a double blessing. Well done, good and faithful servant. Okay, I gave you five talents. You bought me ten back. Hallelujah. Okay, because it's given to you. Given to you. So now spirit is saying, this is the judgment card. So what you going to do now, boo? What you going to do now? You got to make a decision. Make a decision to move forward with this thing. Even though you ain't really getting no support from your family. They kind of talking about you like, child, look at her. Mm, mm, mm. All right? And, 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 and you done found out about this. And it's shaking your confidence. Making you feel invisible. But don't. Because God gave this thing to you. All right? And even though you feel unsupported, now your support is going to come later. He just want to see what your judgment call going to be. Are you going to trust him? Or are you going to hide? Father, I was scared. Hmm. So are you going to enter into the kingdom? Well done, good and faithful servant. Or are you going to get bashed to outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth? Listen, it's up to you. Spirit give you free will. All right. But now that you know you can't really depend on nobody but spirit. And he done gave you this idea for you to take off and run away. Hmm. What you gonna do, boo? Yeah. Listen, if y'all still with me, I appreciate it. All right? I want to say thank you again for stopping by Brown Bag Tarot, where we are unpacking bags over here. All right? So like, share, subscribe, tell a friend. Tell a friend to like, share, and subscribe. And until the next time we talk, I pray y'all peace, blessings, love, and light. Y'all be cool.